Yeah, I find it interesting that Nietzsche's writings influenced Hitler. Hitler gave them to Stalin and to Mussolini. And you can tell what happened in all three of those nations. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, if you read Paul Johnson's book, you know, Modern Times, uh, he tells this story. He talks about these three demagogues of the mid-1900s there in Hitler, Stalin, and Mussolini. And the irony of it was Stalin at one time was preparing to go into the ministry, you know, and uh, lost his faith in God. Uh, Hitler, of course, wanted to build the super race, the Uberman, the, the, the stronger man that he wanted to build uh, to take over. And these ideas of living without God became popular. Nietzsche, ironically too, son of a pastor, and both of his grandfathers were in the ministry. And he said, when we realize God has died in the 19th century, a kind of madness will break out. The last 13 years of his own life, he spent moving between sanity and insanity, oftentimes in silence for weeks. But here's the parable he gave. He said, have you not heard of that madman who took a lantern and went into the city saying, I'm looking for God, I'm looking for God. He excited considerable laughter. People standing there looked at him, thought he was just a maniac himself. And uh, then he said, you know, where has God gone? Have we lost him? Has he gone on a journey or a voyage? And these questions, but the thing I like about Nietzsche is he was honest about the implications of his conclusion. Mm -hmm. Modern philosophers don't like to take it logically to where it goes. Nietzsche was honest and he said things like this, the, the metaphors that he used, who gave us a sponge to wipe away the horizon? Is there any up or down left? Will lanterns have to be lit in the morning hours? How did we accomplish the greatest of all deeds that humanity has ever accomplished? No horizon left, no point of reference left. He recognized that the death of God meant the death of absolutes and the death of definitions. So here was his question, what sacred games will we need to invent in order to sort of assuage and to bring some kind of satisfaction. So what is he saying? Some type of spirituality is desperately needed, something mystical, something of an absolute nature. How are we gonna find all of this now? This to me, John, really, this to me is the greatest question of our time. If God is no longer in the paradigm, where are we going to find the definitions? What point of reference? Nietzsche was right on target. And so he said, two things will happen. The 20th century will become the bloodiest century in history because the 19th century killed God, philosophically he meant, and a universal madness will break out. Need we even probe beyond even the surface to see the data on where we are today in our world? When you look at what happened in the 20th century, Auschwitz, and all of that, uh, you know, people don't like to hear these things. They say, ah, you know, you're pulling at extremes. No, no, no. G.K. Chesterton put it this way. The tragedy of disbelieving in God is not that a person ends up believing in nothing. Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything.